Hi, in this video I want to teach you how to make this beanie or hat. It's very easy to make. It's my first time making a slushy beanie. So I hope you guys like it. And here is the list of material you're gonna need to crochet this beautiful hat. To make this slushy beanie or hat, the yarn I'm gonna use is Bernat Premium. I know if you are not in Canada, you don't can get this yarn, so you can use any yarn that you have that is medium four or worst of four or four ply. And this one is 100% acrylic, and it has 198 gram on each ball of yarn, and it's white, and this one is rich red and both of them are exactly the same. The crochet hook that I'm going to use is a 6 mm crochet hook. You're going to need scissors and tapestry needle. To start we're going to do a slip knot. And we're going to do a chain at the size of the circumference at the person's head that you're going to make this hat for. So and I want to make this one for an adult I will measure on my own head. So you're going to be doing that until you get to the end doing your chain. This is my first time working with this crochet hook. I bought them on eBay because I wanted something a little wider here to see if it was more comfortable and so far I like the feeling of this hook. Okay, I'm going to continue working my chain and I'll let you know how many chain I do in the measurements. I did 60 chain and it measured 19 inches or 48 centimeters long. Now we're going to join the chain and you have to make sure that your chain is not twisted because if it's twisted you have to undo your work and make sure that it's nice and straight. And to do that, you see you have a flat part and a more rounded part. The rounded part is the back part and this one is the right side, the flat. So you have to make sure that the flat part is facing up. And you grab the end. And the first chain you're going to do a slip stitch. You're going to chain one. And you're going to do a single crochet in that same space because that is the first chain. If you go to the next one, you will be skipping one stitch. So you have to go in the same space and do a single crochet. And one single crochet in every chain space. And I'm doing this by leaving just one strand of yarn here, and like that will be the border of your hat. So I'm going to continue off camera, and when I get to the end, I will show you how we're going to change to the color white. Now we're going to finish here with a slip knot, but you have to make sure that your here the end is not twisted. If you have twisted like this. Don't want to look right there. So you have to make sure that it's straight, that your work is even here. You're going to come here to the first single crochet and the chains that you did, you're going to do a slip stitch, the first chain. Now we're going to change to the white. I'm going to do a slip knot. Not too tight, and we're gonna pass it through that, and we're gonna pull the rate tight. And when you pull the red, you don't gonna see the seam there. Now you're gonna chain one. And we're going to do again single crochet, but this time we're going to do in the back of this 
single crochet from before. You're gonna come here in the back, you're gonna pull your hook through and grab the post, a single crochet. Look, I'm working with a tail. Okay, let me try to do this again. Come back here. Pull and do a single crochet. Go to the next one. You see, you'll see those two space. You go from there, here, and pull and do a single crochet. This is the border of the hat on the brim or the band. I didn't cut my red because in the next row I'm gonna use the red again and the transition is not that high to cut it. So you're gonna continue working with your white, but if you want you can work this in one color. So it's up to you. And I don't like that one there because I did something wrong. I pass it through inside my stitch. One more time. Yep. There we go. Like that. Here we're going to finish this row with the white. Chain one. And now we're going to change to the red. Remember, I still have the red in here. I'm going to grab the red and pass it through. Pull the white tight, that way you don't want to see it. And now we're going to go to the first. Um, Chain one with the red, go to the first single crochet and do again or a stitch. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do this all the way around and changing color if you are making them different color until you have the width that you desire for this band that will go on the forehead. But if you're making it in one color, you don't have to be changing. Just continue doing this exactly the same until you have your width. Here I finish with my border and it will look like this. My measure uh, two inches of five centimeters and I did four row of the red and three of the white. I finished with a row of red and I'm gonna continue with the red again. I'm gonna do a row of double crochet on the back post and I'm gonna increase at the same time. We're gonna do four posts and in the number fifth we'll do an increase. But I want to work all of them in the back post, even in this one here, because this one counts as the first double crochet. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab my hook, I'm gonna bring it through the back, in between that post, pull it out, and I twist again my crochet hook, that way I can pull out that stitch. I do a single crochet, chain two, and we work that chain on the back post. Now we're going to do three more back post, double crochet, for a total of four with those chains, here we have four. Now in number five we're going to do an increase, we're going to do two in the same place. One, and now the next one will be exactly in the same space here you have to make sure you give it a twist a little bit to your crochet hook to pull it through and do another one and we have our first increase now again with the four more back post double crochet two three and four 
now we have to do the increase and like that we're going to add 12 more stitches on our hat again either one in here and another one and then I'm going to continue with four and one increase and number five the increase is going to be only in this row so you're going to continue all the way to the end here I finish this row with two together and a slip stitch and top at the first is chain two now I'm going to do the next row and I didn't cut my yarn, my white, I continue with my yarn inside and because it's the inside, it don't matter if you have these strands like this it will be a stronger uh, work if you don't have to be cutting the yarn, losing the tail, doing knots and stuff because one of those can break and your work will come apart so I don't mind to have those uh, pieces of yarn in the inside so I'm going to change to my white I'm going to grab the white I'm going to pass it through that loop and I'm going to pull tight the red and now we're going to do with the white exactly the same that I did with the red I'm going to bring it through the back of the post pass it through and do a single crochet and chain two. Now I'm gonna do my back post double crochet with the white one on top of the other one and no increase. If you like you can do this in one color or change color like I'm doing mine And you have to make sure that here you grab those two posts separate. You can do the two stripe of white together, two of red together, or one and one, or whatever you like to do. But I like mine like this so far. I will, I don't know, I will work as my imagination takes me to the next row but I like what I seem so far you continue like that all the way to the end here I finish that row and the next row I'm gonna do it again with the white and again I'm gonna come here from behind the post pass my yarn through but here what I'm going to do is I don't cut my red yarn and I don't want the space between the stitch to be too long. What I'm going to do is pass it through here. I have my white here. And I'm going to do my single crochet. And now again I bring the red down. And again I do my chain two. I'm going to move the red out of the way and I'm going to continue with my double crochet on the back post maybe a lot of people will criticize me by leaving that like that in the back without cutting but for me it's easy to do that you see, that red don't gonna be as long as leaving two space loose. So it's easier to leave it here like this than sewing all those tails later. And the important part you don't gonna see this when you put the hat on. What you're gonna see is this part, and you don't gonna see those strand of yarn, long strand of yarn. So this is the way I like for mine. But if you don't want yours like that, you can cut your yarn each time you, you do the change of color.
like that I'm going to continue until the end with the white and then I will change to the red here I finished this row with the white now we're going to change to the red I'm going to grab the red I'm going to pass it through and I'm going to pull the white tight and now what we're going to do with the red we're going to come around the back at that post that is the chain and I'm going to pass our yarn through and do a single crochet and chain two and that's what create here a stitch that you don't have any seam if you look at here you see it don't seem like uh, I change color it's like it's a continue work I look really nice like that I'm going to continue with the red for two row and the white for two row and like that until you have the desired height for your hat before the decrease like that. and here remember if you're doing just like mine that way you don't have to bother or sewing all those tail to bring the white here like I did with the red behind that stitch here so I'll let you know how many row I will give to my when I'm done before the decrease remember no everybody work the same I just give you an idea and you can modify that idea to suit your taste here I wanted to show you how it looks so far and I just love this design and here is where I'm doing my seam and you hardly see them it's amazing because we're working in the back post of those chains so it look fantastic so I'm going to continue and I'll let you know how many row I'll give to my here I did 14 row and now row number 15 I'm going to start with the decrease we want to work four back post double crochet and a decrease we're going to come here at the beginning do our back post here let me pass the red to bring it up now let it go and I show you here the seam that's the seam there of the changing color and you don't see in any row you see the red is completely red and the whites are completely white you don't see the red in between or anything chain two now I'm going to do three more back post double crochet Two, three, and four. Now for the decrease, you're gonna do a back box double crochet, but you don't gonna finish. You have two loops. You go to the next one. You do a back box double crochet. And now you're gonna finish passing your yarn through those three loops, and that was a decrease for the next row. Now you do again one. two, three, and four now we're going to do a decrease we do a back post, we don't finish and another, now we finish those with the passing or yarn through like that you're going to continue all the way to the end and I will let you know how we're going to work with the red for this row with the red, we're going to do three double crochet and one decrease. Remember, in the one before was four and a decrease, and this one is three and a decrease. I already start with mine, but it's exactly the same. You count the three ch the chain and two more, and then you do the decrease. And you do one, two, 
and three and here a number four you will do number four but you don't want to finish you go to the next one that you have these two together there and you pass it you pass it to the other side grab your yarn through and you do the next one and now you close that stitch like that and you're going to continue three and a decrease all the way to the end and remember if you find that 14 row is too big of a hat for you you can do 12 row you can do 10 row remember I just make the hat for the size of the person that I'm making this hat for or for me or uh, everybody remember don't have the same measurement either for a hat or for a sweater or for a scarf and everybody uh, crochet with a different tension on the yarn and different crochet hook and different yarn and that's why all the size are not the same so I just give you an idea and you change it to fit your need now we're going to do the next row and this time we're going to do two back posts double crochet and a decrease I have my one with a chain my second and then the third I'm going to do the third I don't want to finish and I go to the next one to number four pass it through do my double crochet and then pass it through those three loops like that will be this row and the next row will change to the white and I'll, let, and I'll show you what to do when we get to that point I change to the white and I did my first stitch that is the single crochet and the two chain and now we're going to do one and a decrease that's number one and the next one will be for the decrease you do the double crochet but you don't finish go to the next one where you did that uh, decrease and pass you have three loops you pass it through those three loops now again you do a double crochet the back post double crochet and now in the next one you do a back post double crochet you don't finish go to the next one and now you pass through those three loops and like that you're going to do this row with the white now this row with the white what you're going to do you have your beginning uh, chain and then you go to the next one you, you do your back post double crochet and then now you're going to do the next one you do a back post double crochet you don't finish and you go to the next one now we are decreasing in all the stitches like that the next one you see you have a decrease here and a decrease there this one that is a single one there you're gonna do that one you don't wanna finish and then you go to the next one and then you wanna pass and finish that stitch like that you're gonna do that all the way to the end here I'm doing the last row and I brought back the red I'm gonna cut the white because I don't need the white no more and I'm gonna push that white through the inside that way it's not in my way and now we're gonna do all those uh, back post double crochet but we don't gonna finish any of them we're gonna leave them all on our hook like that all the way around and you will put on your hook as many as you can remember is this is a round part so maybe you don't can put all of them and you will have to do a little trick you will cast as many as you can on your hook and then once you don't can put any more because it's too twisted you will find something to rest them until you finish the rest you see? and getting to that point that hardly can work no more what I'm gonna do is remove my crochet hook I'm gonna put this in here like this and I'm gonna continue oh, I said the last one <laughs> make sure that those stay there and you're gonna continue all the way around 
until you have all of them. This is a, the, the only part that is a little um, more difficult to work because it's a tight f feet, f a tight uh, hole in here. You see, you don't have that much space to work. So you're going to continue until you have all of them on your hook here, and I'll show you what to do next. Here I have all the loops on the hook and these two tapestry needles. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here where I start with the single crochet and the two chain and then the top chain I'm going to pass my yarn through. This is a little more fiddling but it will look really good on the top of the hat. And then now you're going to pass it through those loops, pull your yarn, turn your work, come here, pass these three loops on our hook. Grab that loop and pass it through those three and do the same. And pull a little bigger with this one. And then you're going to pass it through. I hope you can see all those. And then you're going to cut your yarn. And then we're going to tie it up there and lose the tail and it's as easy as that. The top is going to look like that. You're going to chain one. You're going to cut your yarn and we're going to lose that tail and we finish our hat. It's going to look like this. And now with the tapestry needle I'm going to pass my yarn through the inside and I will lose that tail and I will show you the end result. The hat is going to look like this. And that's the amount of yarn that I have left from the 198 gram each. And I have a lot left. This one is a little less because I already used the red one before. But this one have more. And I think with 100 gram of each color you will have more than enough to do this hat. Look how to look in the back. Look at how that look amazing. I'm quite surprised how good it look. And here is the seam. Add the hat. You don't see hardly the seam. And that's because we work the chain on the post. And that makes the hat look really nice. Now I'm going to try the hat on the mannequin and I will show you the end result. I'm quite pleased with this because this is my first time doing a crochet um, a slouchy hat. I did one with Tunisian crochet but with regular crochet this is my first time. I just love the result. It looks amazing. The combination of color is nice and soft and it's just great. And now I'm going to show you how to look from the back. You can put it in the side or you can put it slouchy to the back. Really, really nice. You can put it on sideways like this too. It looks really nice. Well, I hope you guys like it and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not already a subscriber and if you will make this piece and you want to send me some picture you can do that uh, by going in the description box where I'm going to leave the link for my Facebook page and you can send the picture through there and well have a beautiful day bye